guys, what's up? Scott Tappa here, and today we're going to take you through a couple simple drills that you can do with your defensive players to train backpedaling. And backpedaling is primarily a defensive back skill, but it can also be applied to linebackers, and it's not a bad thing to do with any of your players, really. Uh, it's part of our dynamic warm-ups that we do. Uh, helps train different uh, leg muscles, balance, hip flexibility, those sorts of things. Uh, but in, in our book that we wrote, and uh, for the purposes of this video, we're gonna call it a defensive back drill. So uh, let's, let's start off, uh, we're just gonna have a straight line, and we're gonna have a player uh, in, in our demonstrations, we're going to have Will and Charlie, and uh, in, in full disclosure, these are two of our, our larger kids uh, on our teams who have never played defensive back before, so they really haven't done a whole lot of backpedaling in their football careers, uh, but they're going to give it their best shot. Uh, so we're going to set them up on a line and in our backyard. Setup, we're just going to have a bunch of cones rather than a, than a painted line, but uh, on, a, on a football practice field, you do have a painted line. Uh, and we're going to have them do a variety of backpedal activities. Uh, first, we're going to have them just do a straight back pedal. Okay, so uh, their feet are going to be shoulder width apart and maybe a little bit narrower, uh, knees bent, uh, butt down, uh, leaning forward a little bit. One of the teaching points you hear on back pedaling drills uh, from defensive back coaches a lot is uh, chins over chin over knees, uh, just to help uh, with keep that balance. And then they're going to chop their feet using their arms to maintain balance and go straight back. Okay. Now, a lot of the times when we do this, even in dynamic warm-ups with, with youth football players, ages uh, eight through 12 roughly, uh, they'll fall down and uh, they'll be embarrassed and they'll get back up and turn around and jog forward. Uh, I think it's important that uh, when they do that, you tell them to get right back up and keep backpedaling. If they're not really pushing themselves, they're not getting any better. Uh, so if they push themselves to the limit where they fall down sometimes, that's okay and they need to know that. Okay, so uh, one of the things they're gonna do is just gonna go straight back. Then we're gonna have them flip their hips from side to side. And you can either have this be a prescribed uh, turn that they're going left and right, or you can signal it with your hands, uh, let them know which way to go. Either way, it's important for them to, to work on flipping their hips and opening up their hips at times uh, because they're gonna need to do that uh, when, they're, when they're in pass coverage, okay? Uh, the last thing we're gonna have them do is backpedal straight, plant a foot, and break, okay? This is breaking on a pass when they see it coming their way. Now there's a couple different ways that uh, this can be taught too. Uh, they can either foot fire and, and chop forward or they can just plant a foot, uh, one foot in the ground and make that break on the ball. Uh, depends on your, your preference or your technique, but in, in any event, uh, a good third progression to this would be to have them break on a ball, have a coach throw them a ball, catch it, tuck it, and run as if they're making an interception. So let's take a look at these backpedal drills. Go. 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 Ready, go. Okay, so those are a couple simple backpedal drills you can do, and uh, when, once your guys, uh, if, if they get good enough at this, you can add a lot of different vari variations to this. Uh, we see that at the higher levels, but uh, at a youth football level, this should really be enough to cover the basics. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Uh, send me an email at scott underscore tappa at hotmail.com. Make sure you hit subscribe, and have a great season.